A little salty dog bone fishing day. We took a boat ride about uh, 17 miles to the north and found a nice flat that way. We walked the flat for a while, probably for a mile. Ended up finding some bones at the very, very back as the tide reached the very back of the uh, flat there. First set of bones we found were kind of finicky. We're gonna take a little intermission and get our minds right for uh, round two. Uh, so we went back to the boat and ate some conch salad from the day before. Round two. These bones have pushed further back into the flat now. I was keeping an eye on them while we were eating. Got hooked up. So cool. We, we kind of took a gamble that morning and made a pretty long run and it was not that flat. We were in a Carolina skiff, uh, kind of getting pounded the whole way up there. It was like a 30 mile round trip to go bone fishing, but uh, we had a beautiful lunch at Staniel Key afterwards and turned out to be a beautiful, successful bone fishing day. Got him. Coming at you. Right here. Coming fast. Fast, fast. <laughs> I took a little spill there. <laughs> this flat was like the moon. It had like big craters and so when the tide filled in, it was easy to lose your footing. The bonefish we catch here down here in the Exumas are pretty small. I've never really caught any big ones like they do in the Abacos uh, or in Florida, but uh, a lot of times you find them. They're pretty dang hungry, so always a fun, uh, always a fun fish to target. Got to rub the nose so they forget. Amazing day bone fishing in the Exumas. Salty dogs out.